These medals were given to me for my service in the military, which is controlled by the government, who last week voted for and joined in the bombing of Syria. Innocent, vulnerable, sentient beings are being killed, men, women and children. We cannot sow bloodshed and reap peace. I no longer require these medals. I don't understand what these medals are for or what they're supposed to mean. I joined the army as a teenager hoping to better myself. Yeah. And I believe I did that whilst on operations in Afghanistan. Yeah. One day whilst out on patrol I was asked to blow a hole in a building, not knowing what was on the other side. I thought to myself, what if? What if it's a baby? What if it's there with its mother? What if it's there with the whole family? I would much rather live my life not having to deal with the consequences of what if. That is why I throw these medals back. What if every soldier past and present did this? My name's Ben Griffin, but I'm here today in place of our fellow veteran, Dave Smith. Dave was, Dave was disabled during his service in the army and he's asked me to come here today, discard his medals and read this statement. As a past member of the British Armed Forces, like others who stood here today, I would like to express my utter disgust at the government's decision to bomb yet another Middle Eastern country, namely Syria. I've come to realise the only beneficiaries of war and our conflicts are the arms manufacturers, large corporations, and banking elites. I therefore return my medals as a mark of protest, along with those of my father who was like-minded. My prayers are for all those who will suffer as a result of the bombing. War solves nothing. I reject the notion completely. My dad, Morris, served in Palestine, Malaya and Cyprus. He felt guilt every time he saw anything on the news about the conflict in Palestine. He would turn the TV off. He never got over his experience of war, I'm returning his medals also. Hawkins of militarism 